So hey John, welcome to Peterwood. Yes, this is Monster Mind. Yeah, this is Monster Mind. Uh, we're playing a Facebook game. Which may surprise some people. Uh, yeah, people who like good games usually don't bother with this kind of thing. Exactly. Uh, but this is Monster Mind, a game that we've both been playing a little bit. Yep, Over we the... saw the um, developers at Eurogamer Expo. Yeah, they were tucked away right at the back, and we ended up uh, finding them. Right, right before we left, actually. Right before we left, we got accosted by a man in a monster suit, and he dragged us back to see Monster Mind. Take a look at it. Yeah, and they claim it's better than other Facebook games. Yeah, they said they were trying to make the first real game on Facebook. Yeah, and let's see if they if they succeeded. Yeah, let's have a look. So, I've, we've both been playing it a little while, and I'm already under attack up there by some zombies. Yeah, that's from the AI player. Yeah, there is an AI player, so you're constantly under attack. So even if you don't have any friends, you can still play. You can indeed. Uh, it's currently in beta, so there's a couple of weird little glitches left. Yep. But it is openly available for anyone to play for free. Yes. So that was the uh, first attack, so I just need to repair these buildings. Yeah, so this is, this is your town. Yeah, this is my town, which I've slowly built up. Uh, there are sort of three main types of buildings with the town. Uh, you've got your household buildings, uh, yeah. like a caravan or picket fenced houses or apartment blocks. Yeah, building up your population. Yeah, which is your population at the top, which is what's well, like a pop cap in any RTS you've ever played. Yeah. Uh, you need a certain amount of people to have buildings that will get you money. Uh, these are sort of your standard free to play overtime things. You just pop a building down and say, like, this chemical lab will give me 950 uh, monster bucks in 18 minutes yeah. and 4 seconds. So you can, you've can you got a whole bunch of buildings, yeah. you can scroll through the... Uh, and these ones are ready, so I can just click on those. Yep, collect some money there. Collect my money from those. Uh, the third type of building are your defense buildings uh, to help you fend off the attacks of monsters. Sandbags, machine guns, missiles that you actually have to click on to use, so I can fire that into empty space and hopefully not damage my buildings. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's actually quite like a tower defense game. Yeah, tower defense game is a good way to put it. You've got your sandbags for blocking flamethrowers and also rocket turrets. You yeah. Know, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, then finally you've got... Just cosmetic things? Cosmetic stuff. Also, not just cosmetic stuff, you've got roads. For a building to work, it has to be connected to your town hall yeah. by road. So say if I got rid of that bit of road there, that tower no longer works. Yeah, so you gotta buy some more roads, put them in there. Now, most some of the things build instantly, like that road, but some of the other buildings, they do actually take time to build, anywhere from like 10 seconds to like six hours. Yeah, when you get onto the higher up buildings, you'll definitely so, be feeling that. If you think it's completely gotten away from the Facebook game mechanics, you'd be wrong. No. There still is this waiting for things to build, spending money to you know buy your economic buildings, and then waiting for them to give you money. Yeah, and full disclosure, if you don't want to wait, there is, of course, the option yeah. to use Facebook credits. Exactly. So which you can get in I, any number of ways. I believe they're currently disabled while they're in beta. If you see, they're actually everything's locked at the bottom there. Yeah. They actually have to turn them off, but you will have that ability. And there's actually some buildings, like, for example, this house, the fourth house there, which you can only get with credits. Yeah, uh, not just credits, actually. There yeah. is a crafting system. Yeah. So uh, these are items that sort of randomly drop when you... Destroy other buildings. Yep. Which we'll get into in a second, so you'll be able to build up. Yep, and you get one of each of the things you can build that item, and you get it for free, which is nice. So there is an another way. So you definitely don't need to buy Facebook credits. We haven't been able to because it's beta. Uh, and we've not really felt that we needed to at no, any juncture. It's, it's, it's always something where if you want to spend more time playing, you know, if you want to get places faster, you can pay the real money if you want to. Mm -hmm. But there's absolutely no requirement to. to no, play indeed not. There's no energy waiting on energy to be able to actually play. Uh, indeed not. Um, but the real meat of this game comes about with PvP. I'm just going to attack the uh, AI character, which, spoilers, there is a little mini storyline. Uh, it's a character called Sarah, who originally starts off as a helper to you. And, and you actually have some little... You do get a little bit of storyline through these missions, which you can see up in the upper left corner. And what I've just opened here is the monster menu. There's a leveling up system, so I'm level 11 at the moment, so I don't have access to the top tier monsters. Uh, they're a little bit generic and taken from the old monster movies, but I think that kind of adds to the charm. Yeah, 
It's definitely definitely got some good stuff charm. like the forty nine and a half foot woman, <laughs> uh, Lizardor, some UFOs, a worm that looks kind of something from June. You've got an Audrey two esque thing, some old fashioned robots, some zombies, giant snails, giant birds, giant ape. It's a little King Kong, but we like it anyway. We'll go with it. So I'm just going to attempt to destroy some of these buildings. It's probably going to end quite badly for me. Let's just take a walk up here and see what happens. I, what I'm going to try to do is destroy this bit of road so I can knock out these two turrets that are guarding it. We'll see how that goes. That's one bit of road gone. As it walks down, hopefully it will survive long enough to knock out that road. Because the idea is I want to take out this farm and this. So yeah, there's that bit of road gone, so these turrets are now useless against me. But unfortunately I don't have enough cash to do any other attacks. Now you do actually, if you did destroy some of his economic buildings there, like that farm or the, the motel, you do actually get money. Yeah. And you get experience as well. You also get experience every time a monster of yours dies. But the easiest way to do this is to knock out the town hall first, because that will take out absolutely everything. Yeah, except for those tanks, actually. Yeah, except for the tanks that are running around. I mean, I'm not going to take out the town hall. That, no. I'm amazed this guy has managed to walk so far down. There we go. He's All finally right. toppled over. So, as shown here, marching directly towards the town hall, not the best way forward. But, as you see now, you have knocked out some of those turrets at the, the first one, so maybe you get an easier attack if you had more monsters, which you don't. Yeah. So, I'm going to go back to my home base. collect some more. And John, of course, sitting next to me on his own laptop, has launched into an assault. Now this is actually one of the interesting things about this game, is it has, this is what they quoted as one of their prime features, is this real-time multiplayer. Yeah, real-time PvP. Uh, John is a, dispatching monsters against me in real-time, such as that mutant snail <laughs> which is coming down the road. And relying on me to kind of keep my defenses up and running. Now, if you if you aren't there, all those turrets, which you see, they'll automatically attack and defend your city. Yeah. Um, but the things like that missile, if you're actively here defending, you get a little bit more boost. Like so, as I launch this one on this mutant snail that's currently rampaging into my town. They do a lot more damage, so it is definitely advisable to try and be online if you think an attack is coming. So that wasn't too successful there for John. Managed to do a little bit of damage, but no permanent damage. Also, a really nice thing about this game, if you t your town does get entirely destroyed, which it does quite often, it's very, very cheap to rebuild everything. Also, you do get experience for your own buildings being destroyed. Yeah, so it's kind of a benefit to actually get completely destroyed from time to time. Exactly, yeah. Now, if you quickly... Just take a look at the missions, just to show that's another mechanic here, where they're just little objectives to give you an idea of what, of what things, more things you should, you know, do in the game. Yeah, and they've got some really cute animation as well. Yep. Uh, one thing that has really impressed me over every other Facebook game I've looked at, which hasn't been too many, the animation is way above and beyond anything else in, like, just this genre of game, I yeah. guess. Yeah, I gotta say, it's... It's definitely still a Facebook game. Oh, absolutely. They haven't gotten away from that at all, but... I'm going to put this tank down as well. It's out of all the ones I've played, help. it's I've had the most fun with it. Yeah. It's got those mechanics, but this, the real-time PvP is neat. It's quite simple. There's a little bit less of that social coercion that some games like yeah. Farmville have. Uh, there's absolutely no need to spam your wall or your timeline, <laughs> depending on when yes. you're watching this video. The you don't have to is coming. Go buy things from your friends' stores or anything. No, it does, you do get a benefit from playing with your friends. Yeah, uh, but the benefit is largely just destroying their city and having your city destroyed, which is a lot more fun than any other way of doing it. Exactly. Uh, let's just take a quick look at John's city over here. As you see, he's been playing it for a lot longer. He's already expanded the size of his city. Also, I'm a little bit more OCD with how I put up my buildings, as you can see. Yeah, I tried to go for a more organic, natural look. John has gone for some kind of regimented super city. <laughs> with four hot dog stands next to each other and four barber shops. Yep, and actually I like my six... Oh no, those, those are tailors. The barber shops up here, I got six of those. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. So you get six barbershops, so many apartment blocks. It's kind of a bit boring and bland in John Wood over here. Yeah. Well, you know, it depends how you want to play the game. Some people really just like building up their city. Mm -hmm. But you do have to go attack to get money. I mean, well, you, yeah. it's faster to go attack to get money. Yeah, and I have to say, I because of how John has set up his city with these cannons, which are very, very strong, I have never bothered to attack his city because it's just impossible to break through. So... In a way, that's a detriment to John. Yeah, which is actually kind of interesting. I'm not sure if that's a. Gr it, it ends up being a great mechanic because you're actually sort of slightly incentivized to poorly defend your city. Yeah, because you do get a lot of experience. Um, because for a long time, I had no defenses around my city because I just wanted to get destroyed because it got me a lot of experience, and you get leveled up. Yeah, you get leveled up a lot faster, and it doesn't cost very much to repair. It's really cheap, which yep. is nice. There's no sort of punishment for failure, but because of that lack of punishment for failure, there's no real reason to succeed. Yeah, it, it gets a little bit sort of directionless, I think, later on in the game. Early on, you got like quite a lot, a lot of missions, and you're kind of exploring. You want to get the new upgrades. Yeah, so it's really fun for the short time. But without really any punishment for failure and no reason to succeed, it doesn't actually have that much to it in yeah, the end. Yeah, they could add. They should add more. I think objectives, more a little bit more story. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe tweak some of the risk reward. Yeah. And, but it's free to try out. It's it's fun. For, it's good for a laugh. You know, it's one of these things you can jump in out of. Mm -hmm. So I think it's definitely worth checking out if it's at all your bag of tea. Yeah, it's a bag of tea. Yeah. Well. There you go. John, the American attempting some kind of English idiom. <laughs> Cup of tea, John. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Shows what I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you completely derailed my train of thought now. But yeah, it's Monster Mine. It's a free-to-play Facebook game. It's a lot more fun than any free-to-play games you might have tried before. Uh, it's got very few members at the moment, uh, compared to a lot of what some, uh, some of them, such as Farmville oh, or yeah. The Sims uh, Social. So it's definitely worth a check out. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There's some really nice quirky monster designs in it. Hopefully, as it progresses, uh, we might see some more in-depth strategy Yeah, I think some, some to more it. late game content, I think, would yeah. be good. We sound like we're reviewing an MMO, but no, it is just a Facebook game. Uh, if you've been put off them before, this might change your mind a little bit. All right, let's just hit the switch. We'll be back tomorrow with another video.